Hey, what is going on guys? My name is D-Free. Welcome back to another Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle video. Today we are going to be showcasing the new Whis and PyCon in a Monotech exclusive video. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Subscribe if you are new. Of course, uh, while I take this landmine, we're going to go ahead and play the intro now. Okay, now that we're back from the intro, I want to go ahead and say that I tried not to bring, you know, super spectacular units. Mass Saiyan's pretty good. Uh, I don't consider him great, but he's pretty good. And, of course, Gotenks is phenomenal, so there's that. Aside from that, I mean, Golden Frieza, who's really good, but he gets a lot of flack. It's not as OP as the team could be. No LR Goku, no uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. I tried to leave some of those guys off of the team for that purpose. I'm going to go ahead and heal here. Honestly, I'm pretty high on HP, but mainly so PyCon can get a super off. Because I need PyCon to get his super. So we're going to give you the greens. That's fine. So the crazy thing about the team, or the good thing about the team, is that, like I said, it's very tanky. You know, Mono, this is basically Monotech's only true defensive outfit, if you will, uh, where you bring either a combination of Tech Whis, Tech PyCon generally on Super Tech, and or Golden Freeze on a Go Tanks lead. So, and of course, Bardock, their ceiling. So, that and then LR Goku's ability would be like a fake tank, if you will, where he gets a really high defensive stat and he's able to tank pretty well. I want to have to mess around and heal again. It's basically uh, your defensive outfits from Monotech. Frieza, you get your passive? I'm really close. I don't think he does. He didn't. Okay, so Mass Saiyan also is good in this situation because I can leave him there in the horde. And I really wanted to put. Uh, Whis in the middle because Whis has the ability to lower the enemy's attack by 20% for one turn and or stun for one turn. So basically the gimmick on his passive is if he doesn't get the, the stun, he's able to also either way lower the enemy's attack. And of course his super attack does lower the enemy's attack too. So on top of that, he gets 20% more reduction. Mass Sand does have reduction as well attack and defense wise. And Golden Frieza tanks pretty well and hits pretty hard. And I think I just got the stun. I think he was supposed to attack in there. Either way, even if I did get a stun, it's only for one turn, though. So he wouldn't still be stunned. I have to review the footage to look at it again to see if he was supposed to attack. Uh, he's no longer sealed because Bardock is back. The seals only last for two turns. I'm going to give you that. I'm going to give you uh, this. That's fine. And Mass Saiyan, you can have those. Uh, Mass Saiyan is not super attacking. Dang it, I didn't pay attention to that. Yeah, that's the probably the most annoying thing about this event. And then where Mass Sand kind of leaves you hanging is on the next round where you're fighting Toa, Mira, and Sand. You know, Mass Sand's passive does not trigger because it's two enemies or less, I believe. So it doesn't trigger on that event. So you have to kill one of them off really quickly in order to actually get his passive to work for you. So I can put you there. That's great. What I really want to do is I want to establish the rotations with Gotenks kind of like as a floater, not on rotation, but mainly... What I want to do is I want to do that, and I want to be able to establish... What is What link is that? Sand Warrior Race or something? Oh, Fierce Battle. I want to be able to uh, have PyCon and Whis, or Whis and PyCon, uh, or Golden Frieza. Some variation of those shocking speed guys linking together. Shouldn't have given that to Gotenks, but I wanted the damage output, to be honest. Okay, Matt Saiyan, go ahead. End it! End it! Critical! End it! End it! No, I don't think that, uh... I don't think mine or the friends can critical hit. Actually, I think the friend is only SA1 anyway. Mine is SA10, so that's cool. But I, I haven't done anything for him. Okay, so we're gonna lower his attack here. Not that it matters. Okay, so... Bardock can't super this turn. Although it doesn't matter, to be honest. Because Frieza will take him out. All those beautiful green orbs right there that I won't be able to use right now. That's great. Bye-bye. I don't think Frieza got his passive. Yeah, he didn't get the passive, but either way, it didn't matter because Frieza has a farmable super attack, and my Frieza is SA-10. If you are wondering how to get that higher level super on Frieza, it requires a Resurrection F event. I have a video on my channel where I go in depth and break it down called, uh, it's called uh, Buff Golden Frieza. Yeah, I think that's it. So check that video out. Going to take this turn. I am also going to use this, and I'm going to go ahead and, uh, if you're wondering where I healed, I would have had to have healed anyway, uh, long story short. I can get 11 key there, 
I'm going to get the 11 key. And honestly, ah, oh, crap. That's more than I thought. Because he's at 7. Because it's 5, actually. Oh, that's fine. That's fine. That is not fine. What the hell? My math is horrible. Well, my 12 key is fine, right? 12 key is fine. Jesus Christ. I hella botched that. But yeah, I mainly want to take out one of them. I don't care who it is. I just want to take one out. And I think Toa is the easiest one to kill. I think she has the least amount of HP. I could be, for all I know, I could be mistaken. And, uh, and another reason is I wanted to get Frieza back so I can do that. I could be mistaken, though. And Toa and Mira could have the same number of HP or amount of HP. But it doesn't truly matter. We're going to actually load up on the back end here on him. Just so any attacks that come our way. Come my way, uh, are able to, uh, you know, get lowered. So there's that. That's a thing. Okay, is that it? It is it for Toa. And there's a super attack there, but I honestly don't mind that. That's exactly who I wanted to do super attack. You may even get stunned and not get a chance to attack later. Okay. So even if you attack, it's doing double digits. Quadruple digits. Okay, I'll take it. Okay, so I can seal here. Masayan now has his passive, so I'm actually going to put him in there. And allow him to go after you. Because he supered last turn. I don't think he'll super again right now. I honestly don't care if Mira supers either. I'm going to give you that. I low-key have to heal again, which is kind of annoying. I get the 10 key super here. I'm going to use that to avoid healing. I got a 10 key super. I'm going to go after Mira. Okay, double digit damage. Double digit damage. Damage. Yeah. Kind of thought the video would be around 15 minutes. It may be like 12, something like that. So I do appreciate you guys watching it with me. Pretty fun to do videos like this and tanking teams and stun teams and reducing teams. They're very fun. Very, very, very fun team to do. Okay. Oh yeah, I didn't get a super there. I've, I've like, I'm not paying attention to the detail in this video. I'm gonna have to fix that. Uh, so Golden Freezer, you won't super, but that's honestly not a big deal. Whis, I need you to super though. I guess I kind of don't need Whis to super either because his passive now works. And this guy's sealed, so that doesn't truly matter though. Whis can super here, which is great. Mass Sand. Unfortunately, the friend Mass Sand is pretty. Not very good, actually. I'll go after Mira. Okay. Nine damage. Yeah, that's that's amazing amount of damage. Damn it, he sealed a uh, he sealed a uh, Bardock. That's annoying. That is actually very annoying. 29,000 defense. I'll do that there. Bardock can't super, so it doesn't matter in this scenario what he does. But we're still going to load up on him. Because Mira is annoying, but he's... Oh, a Dokkan attack. He's not super important. I may actually kill them both and get max HP here. We'll see. Alright, one, two, three, four, five, six, bomb, seven, bam, bam, baby, bam, baby. Alright, bam, baby, hashtag, bam, baby, hashtag, curling it. Uh, if you're not going to do it, then fine. Right, I see how it is. Anyways, I'm going to leave that alone. Go ahead and end it, end it, end it, do it. Just do the damn thing, do it. Or not. Uh, well, at this point, PyCon can do a good chunk of damage, too. Uh, well, I'm going to go ahead and actually allow Golden Frieza to do this here. Because even if he doesn't kill him, he'll get a good chance with the tank. And, uh, well, that's a super 10 key. So if we don't kill him, go tanks well. And they'll tank pretty well either way, so it doesn't matter. Uh, 
Oh, you supered again, but exactly on who I wanted you to super, so it doesn't matter again. This team is very viable as far as the longevity goes. It's, it's able to output very minimal damage. And of course, that's the third time I said they're going to super, but they're not going to super. God damn it. I just can't escape a video. It just, every freaking time. And you know what it is? It's the, pro the problem is that I, uh, you guys are used to it by now. That's like a meme at this point. The problem is that I always uh, turn them on and record a video, but I sit here and record two videos back to back. So I turn it off in between the videos. It's going to take like a 20 minute break or whatever. <laughs> I forget to enable it back. And she hasn't texted me back in like two hours. And now she's working and now she's texting back like mid video. Like it's uncanny how good she is at that. Okay. So 322. All right. Let's go ahead and move on. Uh, triple shocking speed rotation. That's cool. I'm going to go ahead and do this, though, because this is basically the best possible rotation for this team. It sucks PyCon can't super, but I really want to super, so I'm going to force it by healing despite having so much HP. It'll probably be a lot easier to deal with him because I can just consistently lower his attack and seal him over and over and over, so it'll probably be a lot easier to deal with him. Uh, he's doing a lot of damage, a lot, a lot of damage to Frieza. Despite the fact that Frieza has his passive, 5,000 is a lot to take in from a normal attack. That being said, it's also because of the leaders. No 120% leader. When a 120 leader comes out, Frieza will be like, not only say best tank in the game, but one of the best. This is going to hit really hard. I really wish he would have supered Frieza. That's going to hit really hard. Crap, he almost killed me with that. I have to heal again. I shouldn't have healed earlier then. Okay. I'm going to seal him. Okay, and I'm going to use an Icarus and give you that and get a beautiful, this time I'll actually count it right, uh, one, two, three key, that's ten. Ten key, nine, uh, I think nine is a super too, but I'm going to go for the ten. It is, dang it, I wish I could have went for the nine. I very rarely have to get that nine key, so I wasn't familiar with it. I should have checked it, because you can check. Messed up my orb rotations. All right, lower the attack here, and I'll get a nice super from Gotenks. So I'll get a little bit of damage out there. Okay. Uh, ooh, girl, 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 girl. All right, that's what I'm talking about, buddy. That's what I'm talking about, crit. There it is. Needed it. Okay, so Mass Saiyan and Golden Freezer are both here. Uh, and they can tank pretty well together. They had Fierce Battle. If I want to trigger that again, I can. Mass Saiyan, the friend, does not su need to super attack. My Golden Freeze also can't super attack, and I can't fix it because I can't heal. So it doesn't matter what I do with those guys, unfortunately, this turn. He can't super, though, so it's fine. I also messed up my rotations. Uh, it was intentional, to be honest, but I did. Okay. Uh, I have my sealer back who can't super. Oh, God. Dang it. That is annoying. That's super frustrating. <sighs> I'm going to take this because that is incredibly frustrating, actually. I think Pycon has fierce battle. You know, a little extra damage. That's so frustrating. I'm taking the turn, though, because I have the two defensive monsters next turn. Yes, monsters. Monstars. Uh, the video's a little longer than I thought it would be. But, yeah, the two tankers next turn, Golden Freeze and Mass Saiyan. And I'm also getting a free chance to lower this guy's attack here. Oh, crit. Thanks, Bardock. Better than nothing. Uh, Okay. Bardock isn't super attacking this turn. That's beautiful. When I need him to debuff, thanks. This guy is, like, really good. Like, incredibly good at stopping the right person. That's actually really frustrating. I don't want to make it seem like I'm complaining. It's just kind of annoying. That's an 11 key. Okay. If you're going to super, please... 
do not do it on Gotenks. Please. Oh, come on. Don't be that guy. Please end it, Gotenks. Actually, just critical hit and end it, please. <laughs> no crit double? Okay, no super, though, so that's fine. Double digit damage. Okay. We've lowered him pretty well. So, the cool thing is that Whis is probably the best guy for this event. Whenever he gets sealed, he can still do what he needs to do. Because he his passive can still lower the enemy's attack. So that's a really good buff on him. Uh, it's kind of underrated. I looked at it the first time and I was like, eh, it's, it's kind of ass, you know, to be honest. But it's actually very good for something like this. So I don't know if I'll get supered first. Okay, cool. So I have a chance to lower him there. Got a chance to lower here as well. And maybe I got the stun, which would be even better. Did I get it? I did not. So I'm taking a super. It's probably going to kill me. I'm very close to dying. Ooh, I didn't die. Okay. So I live to fight another day, and I'm going to lower his attack here and do a, a sizable amount of damage. I think this is the friend who happens to be SA1. It is. Okay. So I actually win this turn. I, I basically win this turn. Uh, Golden Freeze does have a passive. I could seal there if I wanted Bardock. I, I, didn't feel, I don't feel confident in the Super Saiyan Bardock taking two hits. I just don't. That was actually my mass sand too. God damn it. Uh crap. I may not win. It's very close. We'll see. Depends on if there's a super in there. Because I didn't get a chance to seal. Okay. This may kill him. It may kill him. Hopefully it does. Come on, Mass Sand. I need it. Should have put my Bardock there. He's SA10. Uh my Super Saiyan Bardock, I meant. Okay, well either way I win. So. All right, 91K, so 17 minutes to do it. But the defensive tech team can sustain. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please subscribe if you are new to the channel. This is something that we do consistently. And, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have an awesome day, and thank you for tuning in as always. Peace out.